I'd like to think this is recording. I don't know. I hope it is. This is my video on privately held companies. A privately held company or close corporation is a business company owned either by non-governmental organizations or by a relatively small number of shareholders or company members which does not offer or trade its company stock shares to the general public on the stock market exchanges, but rather the company's stock is offered, owned, or traded, or exchanged privately. More ambitious terms for a privately held company are unquoted company and unlisted company. With that, let's begin. I would like you to just uh, have a look at Manta. Go to Manta.com or Google. Type in Manta and a plus sign. And then just type in, or copy and paste, Department of Emergency Service and Public Protection. And in the case of Connecticut, we'll see what the results are. The Department of Public Safety, that's where all of the people lined up in this photograph with all their papers and hands to register their guns and their ammunition feeding devices and their ammunition. This is who they are lining up to give those papers to and register their submission compliance and obeyance and this is who they are registering with the department of public safety at uh, 294 colony street in meridian connecticut is a privately held company a privately held company Companies like the Department of Public Safety usually offer law enforcement labor services, law enforcement medical services, law enforcement psychology, psychological services, law enforcement services, law enforcement support services, such as the State Police of Connecticut. And you will notice the State Police of Connecticut is also a privately held company. Now, when you go a little bit further, you'll understand that Reuben Bradford is commissioner of this private company. And you can go to any, let, let's just follow up here with the Lyme Police Department at Westbrook, Connecticut, and it also is a privately held company. Now you can go to the U.S. Pre-Trial Services in Wichita Falls, and you'll see that it is also a privately held company. Now, I have done a little bit of searching. We'll just follow back here a little bit. And you will see that all of these companies and legislative bodies like animal control your dog catcher let's just find out who they are in wichita falls texas a privately held company categorized under government offices city village and township with a staff of approximately five to nine with a katrina mitchell as administrator of this privately held company and you can also notice that the shop, the city shops, the city of Burknet Station 1, the Wichita Falls Transfer Station, all these companies are posing as your government, but they are in fact... 
privately held companies. Let's just see who the county government offices relate to, and you'll see the honorably honorable Woody, the honorable Woody, honorable Woody Gossam, the Veteran Service Center, the Wichita County Commissioner's Court. Let's just find out who they are, and you will see that Wichita Falls City County Commissioner's Court is a privately held company. And you will see they are directly related to the Wichita County Administration, the Wichita County Appraisals, Wichita County Civil Records, the Constable. Now you will see that Ray Gonzalez is listed as the manager of a legislative body incorporated as your government, but is in fact also a privately held company. You will find that this is pervasive and it is who owns the government. You'll go to uh, somebody like the Nihalem Valley resident deputy and you will see that this fellow is a privately held company in Seaside, Oregon categorized under county government offices. And you will see there is no name attached to this profile. So it is somebody's getting a paycheck. You can assure that somebody's getting a paycheck. And you will see in the government offices, city village or county government offices in Seaside. And you can go to Browse County. Oh, let's go a little bit farther. You can go to Bend, Oregon. And this is the same for every state, every county, every city. You go to the Deschutes County Surveyor. You'd think that this wouldn't be, but it is a privately held company in Bend, Oregon. The, the dog catcher, the animal control, the surveyor, the community development board, the Deschutes County Alcohol Program, the Deschutes County Council. Let's just find out who they are, and you will see they are a privately held company. And you can go a little bit farther down the page, and the county offices, the county legal department, the county offices, Deschutes County personnel, Deschutes County surveyor, voters registration, all of these, every last one of them is a privately held company. You can go to Bend, Oregon, and you will see that as well as privately held companies posing as government, you will find Pine Valley Plumbing, the Tumlo Animal Hospital, Palmer's Preschool, Nate's Public Portable Welding, you will notice that indeed, as soon as this page pops up, that it is a privately held company. It should be listed there report probably see they like to throw different tabs up to find out what you're really looking at done in Brad Street they're, well they're, they're gonna throw a, they want me to pay money to see what I want to show you here but you can assure yourself that it is a privately held company by that Mr. Ray. Revive Skin Services, Rosebud Ranch, The Gold, Bend. So, 
you think you work for the government so you're looking here at manta.com which is a registration of all the private businesses in the United States all the corporations all the Sears and Walmarts and all that good stuff and wow look at this we have US in Washington DC defense national security federal government national security department of homeland security we have the department of homeland security the united states department of homeland security 245 murray lane washington dc dhs.gov now let's find out down here and i'll just go ahead and make that a little bit bigger and we will find out that the Department of Homeland Security is a privately held company in Washington DC and a staff of approximately 10 over 10,000 companies like the Department of Homeland Security usually offer military exchange service military health service military employment service military dating services really military dating service I don't remember that being part of the US Air Force and retired military services and let's find out a little bit more and let's see the company contacts Janet Napolitano chief executive officer W Ralph Basham manufacturing executive Ronald James Randy Beardsworth Nula Connor Kelly Andrew Maynard and you will see they are in the District of Columbia here and I can't see uh, state of incorporation annual revenue they they're not going to admit what their national revenue is and more businesses like this the National Protection and Programs Directorate now you've never heard of that one have you but let's just find out who they are the National Protection and Programs Directorate the NPPD that's not a acronym I'm familiar with the National Protection and Protection Programs Directorate is a privately held company in Washington DC categorized under federal government national security Oh, they're into the military dating services as well. And you can see a Ben Pablo. And we'll just back up a page and we'll find out <coughs> who else is with this. Uh, let's just find out the federal government national security in Washington, D.C. The Department of Homeland Security in Washington at Massachusetts Avenue Northwest. And you will see the Department of Homeland Security is a privately held company in Washington, D.C. And they offer all kinds of services. Uh, military exchange, military health, military employment, military dating and retired military service and you will find more of them oh let's see the Marine Corps the Navy Navy ordnance Navy explosives and <laughs> you just can't make this shit up the National Defense and Intelligence is a company involved in cybersecurity, intelligence, defense research, and defense contracting. And let's see who they are. Come on, let's find out who they are. The NUS NDI. <laughs> oh, 
they sure uh, put the company contacts Alcom. We support all the United States. Let's just find out who the Alcom Napier, Illinois. Amazing, but uh Napierville Computer Wiring. Yeah, the, these people are good. They 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 throw around all kinds of throw all kinds of sidebars and oh the CIA that can't really be them, right? The Open Source Center. The Open Source Center of the CIA is a privately held company. <sighs> Military Dating Services. Why? Military Dating. You'd think all the... Oh, Michael Mor J. Morrell. I wonder who he is. So let's just do a search for Michael J. Morrell, Deputy Director of the CIA. Served as acting director twice. And look at that. Michael Morell elected to Goodyear. That's a nice payoff. So they just throw back. Michael Morell is a counselor to Beacon Global Securities LLC. Yeah, that, that's who the CIA is. The branch manager of the CIA. And it's a privately held company in Washington, D.C. Let's just find out what else is on this page. Defense Contract Management, Defense Security Cooperation, Department of Defense, the branch of the Surgeon General, Department of Defense, 400 Defense, Pentagon. And when you bring up that one, Department of Defense, the Department of Defense is a privately held company in Washington, D.C. Yeah, military dating services. Just what is Military Dating Services? Let's just do a search. Military Dating, oh, that's Match.com. Wow. Match.com, a division of the Defense Department. U.S. Military Singles. U.S. Military, Military Cupid. Military Cupid. That's pretty good. Military Singles. Military Dating. MilitaryFriends.com. U.S. Military Singles.com. Military Tango.com. Military Dating Scam. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, Cupid. Yeah, Army Dating Service. Why would they want all these people hooking up? Why would they want all these people hooking up? Well, when you get married and you have kids, you are a slave. You are a slave, Neo. You certainly are. Yeah, you certainly are. 
Department of Homeland Security branch offices, Department of District of Columbia branch, uh, Secretary of Management Department, Howard University. Yeah, those people are definitely uh, Howard is a old school. Howard University is a privately held company categorized under federal government national security. Military dating. There you go again. You, you're beginning to think that this might be a PSYOP. Who is Larry Reese? Let's find out. Larry Reese. Well, there's some interesting people there. Larry Reese for YouTube. Well, I think it needs Kim, Virginia, Department of Chemistry. Kind of like military dating, huh? Brunswick, Maine. Let's just add in Howard. Universe it T and yeah yeah Howard University Larry Reese yeah our free company profile Larry Reese current director at Howard University University of in the District of Columbia Let's just find out what Territorial Vice President and Automation Solutions, Central West, Senior Account Manager at Defense Intelligence Agency, Lawrence Reese. Yeah, he's, he's a good one. I hope this inspires some thought because it starts at the top and goes to the bottom and it starts at the bottom and goes to your top the entire premise of a privately held company being your government how's that hit you you think about that greetings some of you might have heard of the Kelly Kelly Fuller Kelly Thomas case in Fullerton, California. And there's a lot of outrage that the two policemen that were charged out of the six that took part in the beatdown and eventual death of the homeless Kelly Thomas, well, what you don't know about the police can kill you. The police in the United States are no different than Blackwater Academy Z that is famous for taking part in various assaults and murders over in Iraq. Now they were given diplomatic immunity on a no-bid contract, they were able to take revenge and kill in Fallujah, in Baghdad. They fired 70 rounds into a car, um, various other various other mishaps they would say and uh, they were given complete immunity over in over in Iraq now how does what happened in Iraq pertain to what happened to Kelly Thomas well Academy Z Blackwater is a privately owned security services provider. 
verified right here. Z Services LLC is a privately held company in McLean, North Carolina. Categorized under burglar and security system stores, our records established it was a show was established in 2010 with a annual revenue of $350 million. Employs a staff of approximately 1,000 products and services of companies like Z is security contractor service, private security, security officer service, protective services, and security protective ser protection services. Now, it shows a Ted Wright in Virginia security systems. Now, how is that the same as the Fullerton Police Department? Well, Let's just look around a little bit at uh, what's going on in your town. But let's start in Fullerton, California. And we shall see that the California Highway Patrol, based in Fullerton, California, is a privately held company. Categorized under state police categorized under state government police and law enforcement labor services, law enforcement medical services and it is a privately owned company headed up by Jeff Shaw and you will see here that's them it's the follow the company it's a highway patrol at 3865 West Commonwealth Avenue A, Fullerton, California. And you will see they're categorized under police departments, police protection, sheriff. And we'll have a look at the sheriff, Jane Shade, the branch manager of the sheriff. And she is the Orange County Sheriff. She is a privately held company. Right there, privately held, ocgovernment.com. And you will see as well, that is the Orange County Sheriff. And I will show you further that the Fullerton Police have a narcotics corporation. Fullerton PD, a privately held company. Categorized under police departments, current estimates show this company has an annual revenue of unknown and employs a staff of 10 to 19. Company contacts, oh, we don't know who the narcs are. We don't want those names out there, do we? And we will see that all of these police Police Department records, Police Department, Community Service, Fullerton City Police, California State University, Fullerton. And you will see that, indeed, the City of Fullerton at Commonwealth Avenue, City of Fullerton, is a privately held company. And you will see further... They are a branch. The Fullerton Police Department is a branch of the city of Fullerton. And you will see further that here we are at the U.S. Fullerton, California Government Public Police Protection. Fullerton Police Department, Fullerton City Police is a privately held company. Fullerton City Police, Commonwealth Avenue. Companies like the Fullerton City Police usually offer law enforcement labor. And you will see the Alex Besteri, the Information IT, Margot Kronz, Marketing, Dan Hughes, Information Technology, Julie James, Marketing. They need two marketing people because of what's going on in the Kelly Thomas case. And right here you will see that Patrick McKinley is the manager and 
Michael McDonald is the corporate communications executive for this business of the police departments. Patrick McKinley, manager there. And you will see that the Fullerton Police Department is a privately held company. And I can assure you that it is the same for every other police department, every sheriff department, every state police, all the way up to the very top of the food chain, right up to the president, privately held companies. Now, how did this happen? Well, in 1620, when the King of England sent over the colonists, he gave, granted them a charter, a charter for a company, a company of a plantation that is a for-profit corporation in the Paris Treaty of 1783 it further held that this is the way things are we are still bound by that Paris Treaty we are still bound by the original charters of the colonies that's how it's happening that is why the Fullerton Police Department and all of their people are not going to prosecute their own. They're going to let them off on, on the bigger picture on a, on a murder charge or a whatever death, mayhem charges. They're going to protect their own the same way Academy and Z did. Same as Blackwater did, because they have qualified immunity. They have the right to lie to you. They absolutely defend the right to lie to you from the bottom to the top. You are just a slave, Neil. You are just a slave. This matrix is complete.